Hi guys and welcome to another Divi WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well today we're going to continue on with our Divi basics. We've been putting together these little things here. Scroll on down to where we want to go. Yesterday we did this uh, subscriber form with the MailChimp hookup. Today let's do our uh, let's do some number counters. Now they're great little counters these counters nice little feature to have on your site to uh, get a point ac to, across to people that uh, how many things you're doing or whatever it is you're trying to achieve now if you've seen my videos before you know I love the Divi theme I've literally built hundreds of sites with it it just keeps getting better and better with more and more features and easier to use. If you'd like to take it for a test drive, you can do so from my affiliate link below this video. All right, well, let's get started. I'm going to use the Visual Builder and we're going to build on the front end today as usual, which is another great feature of Divi. So I'm just going to click on Enable Visual Builder. Once Visual Builder is loaded, let's go down to where we want to go. What I'll do is I'll just delete this whole section here and we'll start again from scratch. So I'm going to create a new section. So I'm just going to left click on the little blue button there for a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. And let's put four columns in a row there. Now it's prompted us to put something in there so I'm going to go straight down to our number counter module. By default Divi comes with all these modules as standard, plenty enough to get you started and building great websites straight out of the box. So I'm going to click the number counter module and there it is, it's already put something in. Before I go any further with that I'm just going to give our section here a background color. So I'm going to hit the checkbox to save that. Then I'm going to go up. We've got our blue tab, which is for the whole section, which is what I want to edit now. We've got a green tab, which is for the row. And we've got a dark tab, which is for the actual module within the row itself. So I want to give the section a background color. So I'm going to hit the little edit cog. I'm going to go to background. I'll use the same color blue as we've been using throughout but I'll take the opacity down so it's a much lighter color similar to those things on top something like that we can always change it okay now we've got our section background color let's just make this our own so we'll hit the edit cog on the actual module itself So let's put in whatever we want to call it, let's say projects. And let's just make up a number. And as you can see, it's counting up there. And I, because it's a, a finite number, I don't want a percentage because I don't want a percentage. So if you just click the elements tag, left click turn the percentage sign off obviously if you want yours don't turn it off <laughs> background again let's give our little module a background I'll just use that same blue color again there we go all right let's get over to our design tab make it a little more interesting title text I think I want that white might have it slightly bigger is the text size maybe I don't know something like that that's fine that's all I really want to do to it we could make it uppercase I guess no lowercase is fine maybe a little bit too big something like that go on down and let's change our number text. I want that white as well. 
size wise probably want to just take it down just a little bit something like that again it's entirely up to you how you do it I'm going to give it a little bit of text shadow there make it stand out okay so that's shaping up what I kind of like to do is let's give it a border a little white border around it do that by border click on the border here's border style all four sides you can do top right bottom and left if you want to let's give it a width of I don't know a couple of pixels and we'll make that white as well that's fine and last but not least let's give it a, just a little bit of box shadow there that's absolutely fine makes it stand out now what I kind of like to do is what we did with those original ones I'd like to make it into a circular sort of button type thing a little circle with a white border there now to again like with our images up here to make it a perfect circle you've got to start off with a perfect square because if we make it from that it's going to be an oval shape like an eye because it's got a longer width than it has height so let's go into our custom CSS and just add a height and width that attribute so we're going to go to the main elements let's put height doesn't matter which one you put first say 150 pixels it's made it a little bit longer semicolon I'll put this bit of CSS underneath you can use it and change it how you want just make sure you put it in the main elements section of the custom CSS and let's do a width of exactly the same there we are you see you've got a square there we might decide to make that even a little bit bigger um, that's pretty good let's make it into a circle and see what we got so we've got height 150 width 150 in the custom CSS main element box like I say I'll put that bit of CSS down below so let's go back to our design now let's go back down to our border and for the border radius to make it into a circle we need to make it 50% now this is checked so when I put something in one it'll do all four sides at once if you want different values for each side just uncheck that but I want it all four the same so I'm not using pixels I'm going to use percentage so I'm typing in five zero and a percent and as you can see it's made it a nice little circle there but I mean I to me that's way too way too too cramped up there so let's perhaps make it a little bit bigger let's take those up and make that say 200 as you can see it's oval because I haven't changed the width that's better and now all I need to do is just pull this down a bit with a bit of padding on the top so let's go back to our design tab we'll go down to our spacing and we got custom padding and I just need to add a bit to the top don't want to you've got a link there if you want to do top and bottom at the same time same with the left and right so let's try I don't know 30 pixels I'm just writing three zero actually that's just about right 30 and it'll put in the pixels itself let's try 50 that may be too much yeah I kind of like that 30 better what about 40 yeah 40 is okay let's leave it at that all right so I'm pretty happy with our first little one there so let's just save that now I'm simply going to duplicate the model by duplicate the module by using these two little squares or oblongs right there just click and it'll duplicate drag whichever one you want left click and drag over to where you want it duplicate again left click and drag the little cross there like I say it doesn't matter which one you move because you're duplicating your uh, they're exactly the same so it doesn't matter which one you move okay we've got four now let's just change them out to what we want here 
hit the edit cog. Uh, let's put designs, whatever it is you've got working for you. Designs, let's make another six number. And do this one. Just changing the name and the number. And finally, let's do this one. I don't even remember what I did for the last lot, but there we are, it doesn't matter. So there we go, we got four little buttons there, or number counters, to advertise what we've got going on here. Now let's just save this, hit the purple button, hit the save. Once it's saved, we can exit our visual builder. go down to where we were and take a look at what we've got there we go there's our little number counter section very easy to do very eye-catching and if you want to put some stats up on your site that's the way to do it another great feature for Divi so I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful if you have please give it a thumbs up share comment and subscribe to our YouTube channel if you're interested in web development, take a look down below. We've got some great free web development courses down there, as well as some premium courses with some huge discounts for our YouTube subscribers. So do check it out. Once again, this has been Jamie with System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.